Enjoy. The airman must lie on the ground and maintain a 90 degree bend at knees and hips, making sure not to cross his or her feet. The airman should keep their abdomen sucked in while staring at a point on the ceiling directly overhead to aid in relaxing the neck. The airman must keep his or her arms and hands extended alongside the hips, reaching along the ground while the airman crunches up trying to lift both shoulder blades off the ground. The airman's arms and hands must maintain contact with the ground. The airman should hold the contraction for two to four seconds, which is the working portion of the exercise, and slowly lower the upper torso back to the ground in the resting position. The airman should forcefully breathe out while contracting the abdominals during the working portion and inhale while relaxing the abdominals in the resting position. The airman must perform these to total muscle failure. The most common mistake here is that the airman will raise their arms off the ground mimicking the last abdominal exercise where they were supposed to. Once total muscle failure is achieved, the airman can move to the last push-up exercise. Triceps push-ups. This exercise is very focused on the triceps and pectoral muscles, which perform the majority of the work required to complete a push-up. The triceps push-up requires the most amount of focus on technique to ensure the correct muscles are being targeted. The airman will begin in the starting position with arms fully extended and the body in a straight line from head to heel. The airman's hands should be positioned just outside the rib cage with fingers facing away from the body. The airman will raise his or her head so he or she is looking forward which will aid in keeping the airman's back in perfect posture. The elbows and forearms should be kept in tight and rub against the rib cage during the repetition. The airman will perform perfect triceps push-ups through the full range of motion lowering the body to the ground until their chin touches the ground while keeping the chest and abdominal area off the ground before pushing back up to the starting position. Do these until total muscle failure is achieved. Usually the first indication of total muscle failure is that an airman will unknowingly allow their elbows to move away from the rib cage and they must fight against this tendency. PTL should watch for this and immediately correct the improper form. If an airman cannot hold the form or technique and they have reached total muscle failure and should transition to their knees and continue to perform perfect triceps push-ups until total muscle failure is reached again. Upon reaching total muscle failure, the airman will sit back on his or her knees and rest for about five to eight seconds and then begin with the second set of triceps push-ups fully extended. Once the airman reaches total muscle failure, he or she will transition to his or her knees and continue to perform perfect triceps push-ups until total muscle failure is reached again. Triceps push-ups are being demonstrated slowly for instructional purposes only. When conducted at full speed, the exercise will look like this. Upon reaching total muscle failure, it is time to transition to the last abdominal exercise. Regular Air Force Crunch. The airman will lie face up on the ground with knees bent at approximately a 90 degree angle with feet and heels in contact with the floor at all times as per AFI 36-2905. The airman will cross his or her arms across their chest and dig his or her fingers into the clavicle while pushing the elbows out to make the range of motion shorter. The airman must curl shoulder blades off the ground. The airman must contract abdominal muscles and move back and forth through the range of motion which consists of the bottom of the shoulder blades touching the ground to the elbows reaching out to touch the thighs at any point. The airman should breathe out while contracting the abdominals and exhale while relaxing the abdominals. This exercise should be conducted as rapidly as possible. The airman must perform these to total muscle failure. Once total muscle failure has been reached, the exercise is concluded. This PT program should be conducted at least once a week throughout the year. As your scheduled PT test date draws nearer, you should increase the frequency of the workout. You can perform these techniques up to three or four times per week. The first step in performing this workout is to do a dynamic warm-up. A dynamic warm-up can consist of any combination of exercises as long as you're doing something that's engaging the total body. 
Uh, you just want to make sure that your body is not shocked by the initial workout. So get something to get your blood pumping. A few good exercises, jumping jacks, windmills, or arm circles are going to get your upper body thoroughly engaged. All right, once you've conducted a thorough dynamic warm-up, you're ready to roll into the push-up portion of the exercises. So the first, first exercise is going to be the regular Air Force push-up. Let's go ahead and assume your starting positions. Remember, you're doing one full or two full sets. One fully extended till you go to total muscle failure. As soon as you hit total muscle failure, immediately drop to your knees with no pauses and go to total muscle failure again. Then shake it out for five to eight seconds and repeat that process. All right, so everybody's ready? Begin. Make sure that chin touches the ground. Keep that belly sucked in tight. Really contract that core. Go as quickly as you possibly can. Good job. Make sure that that core is tight. You don't want your belly hitting the ground prior to your chin touching the ground. It's meant to be extremely difficult. That way when you do these push-ups on the Air Force PT test, it's a lot simpler for you. It's 50% of the work. Good job. Once you hit total muscle failure on your knees, shake it out for five to eight seconds and then repeat. Remember, this is self-paced. Since you're all going to total muscle failure and utilizing perfect muscle memory, everyone's getting the same workout regardless of how many reps you do. I know some of you can do 200 push-ups, some of you can do 100 push-ups. Either way, you're both getting the same amount of, or same good workout. All right, good work, guys. All right, take about 10 seconds, get a little bit of a breather. The next exercise is going to be the reverse crunch with partner. So go ahead and partner up. And as soon as everybody gets in the starting positions, we'll begin. All right, starting position is going to be knees and hips at the 90 degree angle. All right, begin when you're ready. There you go. Hold it for two to four seconds. Good job. Make sure you're breathing out forcefully. Breathing in in the resting portion with your feet pointed straight up. You want to keep your butt a little bit higher. Keep coming up. Go up. Make sure you really come up onto those shoulder blades. Unlike the push-ups, you're only doing one set to total muscle failure. So as soon as you hit total muscle failure, go ahead and stop, and uh, you can go switch up with your partner. Good job. All right, go ahead and switch. All right, when we're, when we're doing this workout, your push-ups can be done in any order, but the abdominals have to be conducted in the order that we're demonstrating right now. All right, when everybody's in the starting positions, we'll begin. All right, go ahead, begin. Make sure you hold it for two to four seconds right there at the bottom. Count it to yourself. 1,000, 2,000, 3, there you go. Overemphasize the movement up onto your shoulder blades. There you go. Good work. Make sure you maintain that 90 degree bend at the hips and the knees. Partners, if you like, you can push down on the top of their feet to emphasize the contraction in the resting position. Good work. When you come down, you ought to be able to keep at least a fist underneath you, underneath your butt and lower back. There you go. You don't want your, your lower back and your hips to touch the ground during this exercise. You should feel your abs. They'll be really, really tight when you're holding yourself out like that. All right, good work.